This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar providing an introduction to 360 VR. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to edit 360 VR video in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, let me illustrate how to import a 360 VR movie, how to change inspector settings, how to create a project, how to change the center of the frame, how to hide the tripod, how to add a title, and how to export for distribution. In Final Cut, importing VR is the same as importing any other media. Command I to open the Media Import window. Let's import the same two files that we used for Premiere, a stereo file and a mono file. This. So we're going to create a new project. We'll call this VR. And we're going to leave all these settings alone. Click OK. I'm going to drag my mono clip into the project. And this creates a mono project. Stereo clip, I can drag the stereo clip in. And it treats it as a mono clip. The settings are determined when you drop the clip in for the first time. When the first clip goes in, that sets the settings. To look at that here, we can see that it's a 360 degree. It set the resolution. It set the frame rate. It's ProRes 4 to 2. Everything is good. Now let's hide the browser. Control Command 1. How do we see VR? We go to View, Show in Viewer 360. Now I have here a mess. It's not a 360 video. That's because we haven't told Final Cut that this is a necro rectangular video. Select the clip, go to the inspector, go down to projection mode. It defaults to none. It must be equo rectangular for both Final Cut and Premiere. You can also set it to monoscopic or stereo. And now I can move my clip around inside Final Cut. So in both Premiere and Final Cut, you need to change the settings of the sequence in Premiere and the clip in Final Cut in order to be able to display VR video properly. Based upon working in Premiere and based upon working on Final Cut, I like Final Cut for VR better. They both will work. If I close the inspector, in the 360 category under Effects, there's this 360 patch. What the 360 patch allows me to do is to essentially do a replacement for where the tripod is. Select the clip, go to the inspector, go to Video Effects, and turn on the Setup mode. Setup mode says, I want to hide the tripod. If I drag this out of the way, just put it on top. See that symbol right there, right here? That's our tripod. I'm going to just drag this until that disappears. Essentially, the patch tool in Photoshop. And now when I turn this off, when I go down to the bottom, here, bottom, I don't, yes, I see the handle of the tripod. Pretend that doesn't exist, but I don't see the tripod at all. This is a much cleaner way of getting rid of the, uh, the tripod by replacing it with material which is close to it, gravel or sand, or in this case, rock. So now as I move around, the tripod handle shows up, but the rest of the tripod does not. Also with titles, titles I think are more effective here because we have already built in 360 titles. I've got, let's just take uh, basic 3D, drop this in here, put our playhead in here. These are already curved. I'm going to select the title. There's our title, basic 3D, select the text and change this to my movie. And now as I pan around, that text is nailed in place. It's already spherical. It's already uh, uh, motion tracked. So I don't have to worry about that. There are several ways that we can change the center of the video. The easiest is to click the reorient icon so it goes blue. Then in the viewer, not in the 360 degree viewer, but in the viewer, Hold the Shift key down, which constrains the movement to just the Y axis, 
and drag the viewer until you get to the look that you want. Now I'm looking inside the 360 viewer, but I'm moving inside the viewer. If you need to fine tune the setting, go over to the inspector and look at the settings under Reorient. When you're happy with it, click this button so it's no longer blue. Now let's just grab and drag this somewhere else. If we go up to settings and say reset angle, it jumps back to that newly reset center of the video. If you want to make very precise changes, go to the inspector and select reorient. If you want to be able to see the changes that you're making, go to settings and show overlays. And you can see the amount of movement that you're making by looking at the specific degree changes from the new center, which is always zero, zero, zero. To reset back to the default way it was recorded on the camera, go to the inspector, reorient and click the hooky arrow and everything resets back to where it originally started. When it comes time to export your finished project, it's the same as exporting any other video clip. Go up to File, Share, Master File. Take a look at Settings. You don't need to export Apple ProRes 4x4 because of the way that this was shot with H.264 ProRes 4 to 2 is more than adequate. Make sure that the rest of the settings are the way that you want. Click Next, give it a file name, the same as always, and exporting VR is identical to exporting any other media project. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar providing an introduction to 360 VR. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 271. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.